السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم We present lesson number 812 of our daily nasiha and advice. Our topic today is introduction to zina, fornication, adultery. All Mithya Allah Jalla Wala in the Quran Kareem states, Wala is known that they must not commit zina, fornication and adultery. Similarly, all Mithya Allah states, Wala taqrabu zina and do not even go near and approach zina fornication. Mustafa Habibuna sallallahu alayhi wa sallam further elaborates on this issue. The hadith is mentioned in Muslim Sharif and similar hadith is mentioned in Bukhari Sharif as well. Qal, Qal al-Nabiy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu reports that Mustafa Habibuna sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kutiba ala bani Adam nasibuhu mina zina. It is already written down for the children of Adam alayhi salam their share and portion of zina. This does not mean now we can't do anything about it. Obviously we need to suppress our desires. We need to fight the shaitan who beautifies and adorns and embellishes all these vices and sins. And we need to go against the norm of society who are into the Quran Karim states if you are obedient to majority of the people on this earth then you will go astray from the path of Almighty Allah so what is this which Almighty Allah has already written and prescribed and ordained for the children of Adam definitely he will do it meaning that certain times he will do it but we must try and abstain and and refrain from it as much as possible. Al-Aynan, the eyes, zina huma an-nazar. So the zina of the eyes is seeing. Now let us just think for a moment. All the movies, all the films, all the haram things we see on our phones and so forth. How can that ever be justified? Remember, totally haram. And this is the muqaddamat, the introduction to fornication, adultery. Wal udhunan zina huma al istima. And the ears, the zina of it is the hearing, hearing of music, hearing the woman are speaking singing, all these type of things. Remember that now we start loving them, we start loving their voices and alluring voices. All these type of things are haram. Wallisan zinahu al kalam and the tongue, the zina of it is kalam. We start speaking to strange women and in such a voice, soft, soft tones and she is answering, whispering also in seductive tones. So all this is haram and unacceptable sending messages and we say today on the whatsapp or on the sms or whatever medium social media there is and we send such messages flirting with one another so all that is considered as haram as well well yadu zinaha al and the hand committing zina, this is just touching. People say, no, I'm just shaking hand with her. Remember in Islam, to shake the hand with the opposite gender is haram. When they are strangers, we say, no, it's my cousin. Remember that cousin also, parda hijab is compulsory. The intermingling that goes on today, definitely unacceptable and haram. Warijlu zinaha al khuta, and the zina of the feet is the walking. We walk for the date we want to meet this person meet somebody else's wife Allah forbid so all this goes on and now it's becoming rife and rampant in our society Allah protect us and the heart is now inclining and then the heart is desiring what you see then you want to experiment what the person sees then that person wants to practice on it and now he starts wishing and then that person goes and commits the act of fornication, Allah forbid. Fornication, Quran Kareem mentions, Surah 24, verse 2. That punish both of them hundred lashes in public and 
تَأْخُذْكُمْ بِهِمَا رَعْفَةٌ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ Do not show them mercy and compassion. And a group of people, Muslims, should witness this. Obviously, in our countries, we can't punish people like this. But this is to show us the seriousness and the gravity of the vices and sin. And for adultery in Islam, there's unanimity, consensus, the death penalty. So may all Mithya Allah, Jalla Allah, protect us and let us remain chaste. Read, Allahumma hassin farji. Allahumma hassin farji. Ha, sword, noon, hassin farji. Ya Allah, fortify and protect my private part. May all Mithya Allah bless us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.